internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. There's my little walking duck. And I got my friend Lauren, wise man, online here at the Synergy Cafe. Lauren, you there? I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Oh, I remember the first time we met, the first interview we did, and we got into the whole Three Stooges thing, you know, whoop, 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 because that was when you didn't have the hair and stuff. You still got hair? <laughs> so you've done a couple of these interviews with me, and but what, the, what I want to do today, uh, I don't do them too long, because we all have our busy lives, because time is a commodity, and it's the same for all of us, and uh, once you spend it, you don't get it back, so... We'll do this real quick, but um, I thought instead of me today interviewing you to find out what you do, I would basically go in the hot seat and I will let you do what you do. And um, I, I I need some clarity. I need some. I need some. I got a fairly decent brand. I mean, the Magic Brad brand is out there. I get recognized sometimes at events and things, but I think they're going, "You're Magic Brad. What the hell do you do?" <laughs> so I need some help. Okay, I'm naked. Not literally. <laughs> you, you look clothed to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been having some challenge with people understanding what it is that I'm communicating. And I'll tell you, in essence, what I'm trying to get across to people is the that there is the ability to make a, an income without having a job and to get out of the dollar per hour mentality and start thinking about planting seeds that end up generating revenue, ongoing, recurring so they don't have to have that nine to five job and they can still pay their bills and buy ice cream and enjoy their lives. <laughs> so give me in that sense, because that, uh, again, it, you, you flowed and you shared and you resonated very easily. What would be three titles, a baseline title to tell people that that's what you do? Um, as opposed to, you know, ice cream provider. <laughs> oh, one, one would be freedompreneur. Um, that's not necessarily mine. That's actually, I think, uh, coined by Rhonda and Brian Swan. They're the freedompreneur type people. But, uh, you know, person that uh, I'm so also a multipreneur. I do a lot of different things. So you can't put me in a box and say, oh, you're a McDonald's franchise owner. No, I'm not. I do a lot of different things. So multipreneur, freedompreneur. And... Um, I'm not sure about the third one. I've got some wacky things that I, I call myself a marketing alchemist. It's basically turning leads into gold, kind of converting perception of what certain things are, whether they have value or not. And now I've got you confused. No, no. <laughs> and, that, and that can be the thing is we, we have these ideas on, on how we can help other people, but sometimes it becomes a little bit more challenging when we need to do that for ourselves. What I challenge you to do and anybody watching the video is to – restructure, begin to restructure the foundation of your brand. I'd love to see from you, and, and uh, uh, call it assignment number one, list number, uh, list letter A, 10 to 15 phrases, two words minimum, four max, just to describe about you and your persona. Part of your brand and part of the transition and the, the explanation and at the same time the penetration to get other people to understand you is going to become some of the authenticity in you. And a great deal of people show no authenticity. So this, be, this becomes a great opportunity to be able to market and say, I'm real. I, this, is, this is what I know. So I would challenge in your first list to write down a list of these two to four word phrases, 10 to 15 of them who you are, how you communicate, what you like, what you don't like. I'm a, I'm a sushi lover. When I was doing my brand, I had, to, I had to include sushi in there. I'm just Got a it. big fan of sushi. Then a second set, same thing, two to four word phrases about what you do, and 10 to 15 of them. It can be very simple. It doesn't have to go into the freedompreneur, but it can be, you know, assisting someone with a business plan, assisting someone with a marketing plan, assisting someone with contacts, how you coach them, how you might, and use different words because you might be coaching one person where you're consulting somebody else. And that can be helpful inside of this list to create a series of these different phrases. So if somebody's, cap, if somebody's connecting with coach, that's part of it. If somebody's connecting with consultant, that's another part of it. Perhaps strategist. You might want to even throw in you know, advisor. Mm -hmm. It can even be something as, as friendly, the friendly conversation at the cafe that leads you to wherever's next. Got it. So you have your, you have your two sets there. It's that first set about you, the second set about what you're going to do. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because there's, there's my personality. 
Right. And then there's what this person does. Got it. Exactly. And, and now you're bringing in the authenticity because you're sharing your persona. Now, to get even more past the perception, what are five things that influenced you? This is, again, this is both personality and professionalism. Five things inside of what you do that influenced you and why. That's an interesting thing right there because the first thing that comes to my head, what influenced me to be free was when I, back in the 90s, I had to file a bankruptcy and I was basically living on a karate school floor with a sleeping bag. And I realized I didn't need to have much. And if people would quit looking at, you know, make a six-figure income, you don't need a six-figure. I mean, you can have that, but you don't need it. All you need to do is pay your bills right now and $1 over and you're financially free. Exactly. So right there, what you've just said, and this is where it needs to go into that list, not only is this a presence of the foundation of your brand, but this is a video. This is a video from you. This is a video of you in a karate dojo or just sitting on the floor and stating, this was the moment. This was when I came here. What? And then that opens up with the engagement of, What's your mo what was your moment? Or what is it going to take for you to get to that moment to make the change that you want to change? Now you're funneling people to you honestly, honorably, and in a vicarious way that they're connecting. Also in a separate, so we've got that, you know, the influences. What are the things, what are five to ten influences outside of what you do? What are, what are things that have nothing to do with work, nothing to do with anything that you create? And I, I, I tell people Monet for me. When I was, well, you know, the, the Bridget Giverney was very influential to me because I used to see, when this was when I started in music, I applied it to branding where I said, I bet Monet still had some green left on his, on his palette. And I always want to work with, I, worked, I did this in music, I did this in television, I do this with businesses now. I'd rather create a palette. And then from that palette, we paint. We paint the brand, the message, the story. It's not paintbrush to can to canvas it's let's collect the colors to create the image that we want to share how poetic <laughs> <laughs> when you first said monet i thought you meant money with a french accent <laughs> no not ex not exactly there and another <laughs> another list you can do it, it, it talk, is the, the positive and the negative the, 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 the plus and the minus what are 10 15, 20 types of people that you want to work with and why? Why would you work with a tax accountant? Why would you work with someone building a studio? Why would you work with a lawyer? Why would you work with a doctor? And at the same time, what are the people that you wouldn't work with and why? Okay. As you begin to build this, coming back to Monet and this palette concept, you begin to designate and design words that then from there can go into, and we can't get that done in a short show, it takes a good couple meetings, but we begin to find messaging. We be begin to find videos and audios and pictures, and even pictures that you already have, and saying, you know what, I could post that again, I could title it this. And now that picture has the authenticity of what you wanted before, but now it ties into a message of who you are, where you're from, and how people are vicariously connecting to you and your, your authenticity to learn your authority to convert to sales. Okay. So to summarize this a little bit, there's a list of the persona, my personality. Then there's what I do. And then you said there's some things that are outside of work. And what was the last one again? The fourth one? It was a list of... There were the things of just... There were the things that, of what who you could serve, who you could work with, and who you wouldn't work with. Got the it. list actually goes. The well, list actually goes deeper than that. But this is a good starting point for anybody. And in beginning to build this palette, you begin to not only understand your brand, not only understand the messaging inside your brand, but then begin to understand the, the ways to message that brand to different audiences with different tones that all keep the same sense of you. What's What's kind of interesting about the third one which is the what do you do for fun as opposed to work, is part of what my belief is, and it's, I guess, part of my brand, is to parlay work over life in that I can do a dog walk daily video because i got to take the dog out. That's part of life. But as I'm doing this video, I can talk a little bit about leveraging Internet technology to earn an income while you're not working. 
So mm -hmm. I'm sort of living life and working at the same time. So it's almost like a hybrid of uh, work life. <laughs> but then where could that tie into the dog? Where could there be something today? We're taking the dog here. And so you've got your primary message of work life, but then it's the, whether it's the dog eat dog world or this dog was chasing after this. Oh, dog making it relevant. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> You, 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 you play, you Brilliant. play the message and you, you create more and more messages that become, they can even be redundant and repetitive, but they're authentic and they're you. Very and good. That, that connects a lot. Well, I'm going to sign this one off. This has been a wealth of information, Mr. Lauren. You're a wise man, let me tell you. Thank you. So uh, before we go, um, your podcast thing, it's, it's what? Really? No, what? Wait, wait, what? Really? Okay. So, so did that come about? Like all of a sudden you went, wait, what? Really? Okay. Is that how that came about? I had a, I have a, a lot of clients <laughs> and a lot of people that I've seen in audiences that when I, when I hit certain topics, I feel like that's been their reaction. And I was trying to come up with a name and it just, it, it was just right there. Like, wait, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's kind of what I got out of it. It's interesting. Four words that kind of aren't really relevant. It's not a sentence. But it's nope. it's almost like a it's a whole paradigm shift, really, right? Exactly. All of a sudden they go, wait, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> it's a paradigm shift. It's a flip flop. Very cool. Okay, Lauren, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks again for being on Synergy Cafe. Do you want to do this again uh, Monday? Next Monday. Sure. Very cool. And uh, in between uh, now and then, if you want to talk, I I would and continue some of the conversation we had earlier. <laughs> that was good. Thanks, bud. Peace.